the What's up y'all man? I wanted to do this video. I wasn't even gonna do a video on this game because I found out Tyrese Halliburton was out, but I'm gearing up to uh watch the um Lakers versus Clippers game. I really want to see that game. Definitely, really, really want to see that. Um, I was right with my pick. I know y'all seen me uh, talk about the Bucks and the um, Celtics and everybody in the East. And I said I thought the Celtics was coming out of the East. They're proving me right, bro. And the Bucks are proving me, are proving a lot of the old people wrong. Those pieces that the Bucks that the Bucks uh, gave up. The Grayson Allens, the uh, yeah, the Grayson Allens, a cup, uh, Drew Holiday. It looked like they missed Drew Holiday more than you know, because the Celtics are killing everybody. They just beat Indiana by fifty points. This is a national basketball team. I know they don't have Halliburton, but Miles Turner still played. I didn't know they had Obi Toppin. Benedict Matherin is still pretty nice. Buddy Hill. They were a okay team. Is this lets me know that if Tyrese Halliburton played, it still wouldn't have mattered. They still would have got dog walked. Look at look at this, bro. For them not having no bench or not, for what people said, not having no bench or not doing this. Peyton Pritchard, 15 off the bench. Sam Hauser, 17. Delano Banton, 11. But when you got all five of your, your starters scoring in double figures, this is what happens. Christoph Przingis had 13, 7, and 3. Derek White had 18. His offensive game has come up to something very, very nice. And he's been playing defense very well. JT, 30 and 12. He's been rebounding like a demon. So that's going to give him nine rebounds. So he's averaging 38 or 39 and 5. Jalen Brown, 16 points, 25 minutes. Drew Holiday 15 points. It really was a balanced night. It looked like Tatum probably probably uh was cooking the most. So Boston is 4 0. And tonight they shot 57% from the field, 57% from three. And they locked them. That was the difference. They shot 12% from three, and they shot 57%, and they made 20, and they made five. I'm just saying, that's 60 points off of threes. That's 15 points off of threes. And they held them, 45% from the field is actually okay, but for this day and age, or how high the uh the field goal percentage is because it's easier to score that's a little below average but that's actually okay free throws oh my goodness seven they only got 12 free throws and they got 28 so the free throw line and the three-point line was the difference and total rebounding they got rebounded by 20. so boston like i said are the most complete team in the nba they are the best team in the nba right now i think boston Number two, I think is the Warriors. Number three, I think is Denver, even though they getting smashed by uh, the Timberwolves right now. Three, I think is Denver. Four is the Clippers. And five, I'm going to be real, five. Five, I would have to say Dallas. Yeah, I would have to say Dallas, five right now. Those are my top five teams right now. But Boston is the best team in the NBA right now. At this moment right now, what I've seen, they are the best team in the NBA. I did not watch this game at all. I definitely will be doing a Jason Tatum uh, video. Definitely will be doing a Jason Tatum reaction though. Wanted to see how he get off, how he got off in this. But 
Shout out to Boston, bro. They ain't like uh, they ain't like the Bucks. The Bucks have been blown out two times this year. The Celtics are who y'all thought the belt the Bucks was going to be. Now I think the uh, Bucks will eventually get it together, but I don't think they beating the Celtics. I don't. I would take the Celtics in six over the Bucks, just because of the def the defense. Who is the Bucks gonna get to guard Jason Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum? They have no elite wing guards. They have no elite guards to uh, to guard him. Dame not shutting down nobody. Neither is Bobby Portis. Neither is Pat Connaughton, or nobody over there. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are great on both ends. They're two-way players. Porzingis, two-way player. Drew Holiday, two-way player. Derek White, two-way player. The only one that's not really a two-way player is... Um, but really, their whole starting five is two-way players. Yeah, Porzingis. Porzingis, Derek White... Both of the JT, JT and JB, and Drew Holiday. So they have a starting five full of two-way players. If they get any help off the bench, Peyton Pritchard and Sam Hauser are two pretty good pieces off of the bench. They're just not really consistent like that. But if they get any help off of the bench, it's over. So... Boston is the best team in the NBA right now, in my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. They just destroyed Indiana by 50. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. It's been Who is Hendo. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that join button, man. Hey, Pistons versus Pistons. I made my video. Go check that video out, man. I'm still calming down from that loss. About to get into this Clippers and Lakers game. Y'all know I will be going live after that. After, uh... Once the game come on, I'm going to have going live, something special for y'all. But I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Peace.